Hello, this is a quick video um, titled, I am a prophet. I know I'm a prophet and I can prove it because my YouTube post from October 2019 and November 2019 saying that gamma radiation was coming and it was going to get unclean Hebrews or unclean humans sick with a horrible lung infection. And I used the information from American Horror Story Season 8 and my gematria information and Bible prophecy. And I was right. But I didn't know the disease was going to be called COVID-19. But COVID-19 is actually a disease called pneumonitis. It starts with a P. It starts with a P. Um, I think it's P-N. But it's pneumonitis. <clears throat> and it's caused by heavy um, doses of gamma radiation. So, like, if you have cancer and they give you radiation or chemo, if they give you too much, it'll kill you. So, if you have too much gamma radiation coming from the sky after it attacked the sun in July 2019 and another time in 2019, and then it attacked the sun in 2020 in April, and then it did a solar flare on the sun last month in December. And I got video on all those events. And then I said that the UFOs are not angels because a lot of Hebrew camps were saying the UFOs are angels. They're chariots. No, they're not. And the Messiah, he comes back on flying horses, not UFOs. The UFOs are demons from King Yahusha's seven seals in the book of Revelation. So I've prophesied that the UFOs are demons, not angels. And then a year later, after posting that on Facebook, I saw UFOs. I've seen UFOs three times now in less than eight months. But the last two times was in Decem on December 3rd, 2020. And then J January 5th. It was recently. So, I prove that I am a prophet. And Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 3 through 7, talks about us prophets being here to share our father, unbegotten father, King Yahusha and King Yahuwah and Queen Wisdom's information. And we are to share it to the chosen bloodline who are sinners and who are stuck in sin. Read Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 3 through 7. <clears throat> it says, share the light, don't worry about them listening because most likely they will not listen but our job is to share the light if we don't share the light we're going to be punished so we have to share the light and do not worry about them not listening that's what the bible prophecy says and i can show you it right now because i got my tablet so i'm going to read it so that i say it exactly right and that information also says that we're prophets it says if they don't listen to prophets that's their fault Nobody, and when I pray to Unbegotten Father, I say, Unbegotten Father, please make it to where everybody has a chance to hear the truth so that when they're in hell facing judgment, they can't say, I never heard the truth. I was never given a chance. Yes, you were given a chance. You ignored it. You passed right by it when you were looking at Facebook. You scrolled right, right by it. How people just scroll on by? Yes. And they're going to get in trouble for that because they're not being smart. Somebody's humbly sharing the truth with you and you're ignoring it. So, Ezekiel chapter 2, the last part of it, down here at the bottom, I'm going to read it. Your job, immortals, in 2021, is to speak to the Israelites and those who claim to seek the light. Whether they listen is not your concern. They're hardened rebels. It also says, they are a hard case, these people to whom I'm sending you to. <clears throat> They are hardened in their sins. Whether or not they listen, at least they'll know that a prophet has been there. <laughs> Anybody sharing the light and sharing what's going to come is a prophet. But fortunately, the information I shared is not even in the Bible. The information about gamma radiation is not really in the Bible, but it is. It's part of the cleansing, part of the seven seals. So Yahusha, I believe, has already thrown Satan in the abyss. And the angel of death from the second seal. I have that in my post. It's not that far away. Hold on. The angel of death from the second seal who rides the red horse. Dang it. Hold on. The, win the, the window reflection is messing it up. But the second seal, the demon that rides the sec the second seal red horse, I think he's the one who calls Trump to um, rile up his people yesterday. And Dana Bash, right here, Dana Bash from CNN, she just said on CNN that Trump has people under a spell. That's why they attacked 
the um, USA Capitol yesterday. And then this lady, a military vet, was killed. This lady, she was shot in the chest yesterday and she died after she broke into the USA Capitol with all of the QAnon crazy people following Trump and his friend Robert... I forget his name, but the one who says the microchips are in the vaccine and all that stuff. So, that's the demon from the second seal. Because what he's going to do, he's going to possess people to start wanting to kill each other. But before they start wanting to kill each other, I guess they want to fight and break down the capital. Because they've gone crazy. So, join the light. And I'm a humble prophet. I'm here to share the light. And I get haters calling me a fool and stuff like that. They don't even know nothing about my videos or nothing that I share. But they will call me a fool before even researching information. You st you're stupid if you call somebody a fool, a fool before you research it. I go on some people's Facebook page and I'm like, they're calling themselves Jesus and stuff. But I go through their posts and read their stuff. And then I ask them questions. And I'm like, you don't seem like you're one of the 144,000 because you don't even know that a demon created earth. So, But I don't disrespect them and call them a fool and stuff like that. So, yes, I am a prophet, I'm one of the 144,000, and I'm the leader of the awakening, because I'm the one sharing the information in the Nag Hammadi with the 144,000 immortals, letting them know who they are, what their mission is, and how to escape hell and live in the multiverse with over 144,000 planets, over 1.4 billion cities to visit and live in year after year for over 2 billion years. That's how living forever will be fun. It looks like my mouth is not moving with my words. <laughs> it does, but um, walk in the light of King Yahusha. Follow his information at Matthew 22, 37 through 40. Follow King Yahusha's 613 laws. Don't follow them. Research them and follow the ones that apply to you. Read Queen Wisdom's information in the book of Proverbs and do the weekly Sabbath every Saturday. Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. No work, no cooking, no labor, no work, no buying things. No, no Everything must be pre-made. Pre Excuse me. You could warm up your food, but um, it's a day of celebrating and research and praying. You can listen to instrumental music. You could go to the beach. You can have a picnic, but everything has to be paid for ahead of time. Buy your gas. Fill your gas tank up before the sun goes down on Friday. All right. That's how you defeat Satan. It's easy if you really want to live forever in the multiverse and have over 144,000 planets to visit and enjoy life where there's no death and no crime and no evil. All right. Peace. Thank you for subscribing to my page.